not uploading the tape. It's like an underwater balloon for an underwater birthday party for my underwater best friend, my goldfish Goldie. <sighs> Goldie is turning one day old today. They grow up so fast. And that's why I gave them this underwater water bottle to be like a balloon. And actually, the water bottle floats for the exact same reason this balloon in my hand does. This balloon floats because it's filled with a gas called helium. Helium is less tightly packed together than air is. You know, helium is sort of like a room without a lot of people in it. Compared to helium, air is like a room with a bunch of people in it, all bumping into each other. You see, the helium in this balloon is less tightly packed than the air around it. And the rule for floating in air and in water is that if you're less tightly packed, you float. This bottle in the water is filled with air. Now, air is less tightly packed than water, so it floats. Check out this balloon. Now this balloon is filled with regular old air from my regular old lungs. Do you think it will float? Nope, no floating. <laughs> this bottle is filled with liquid, which is my birthday gift for Goldie. Goldie loves liquid. Do you think it'll float in the water? Eh? Oh, that doesn't float either. Remember, floating is all about how tightly packed something is. Helium is less tightly packed than air. And less tightly packed means it floats. Whew, that was a close one. I've got to save this for Goldie's second birthday tomorrow. That's how birthdays work, right? Anyway, let's finish by singing happy birthday to Goldie in fish. Ready? That was awesome. If you want to learn even more, you can find hundreds more experiments, lessons, and activities by asking a parent to go to tappityapp.com. We can't wait to see you there.